So race 36, the members Hunter Chaser, 3 mile 6 furlong, all to 100 as we know here. So number one is Come All Ye Faithful, Paul Rhodes. Two is Inflation Stamp for Stu Gray. Three is Pleen Lookie for Martin Leadham. Four is Bella Cheval for James Shea. Five is Raging Storm for Craig Beckworth. Six is Ringer Rumor Page for Alex Cherry, along with Alius Cahol. And Jameer Cottage for Thomas Rogers is number eight. Waiting for the starter to get him away. They're off. Relatively easy pace. The distance. Inflation slam that led them over the first. It's come all you faithful just went up the rear end. Get to the second. All over it. A great raging storm. The great back towards the rear just stepped over it. Still three and a half miles to go. We'll get over that one a little bit better. Inflation stamp inside up against the row. Stepped over it a little bit. It's come all you faithful for all roads that leads us. Let's get to the fourth. Oh, and poor jump at the rear by inflation stamp. Stepped over it again. He's going to be lucky if he stays on his feet over this distance. As they swim right-handed. To come all you faithful from Jameer Cottage just pushing through there. Inside of that is Bella Cheval and the two Alex Cherry horses. And the rumor page and the loose Cahol. And right up against the fence is Bling Lucky. We'll be playing lucky to run around there as they get to the fifth. And we'll get over that. Inflation stamp is a little bit better. Raging Storm is uh, still taking a little time to settle over these. And still, come on, you faithful from Jumia Cottage, about five wide. In the room of Page and Plain Lucky. Muska holds there. Bella Cheval. Raging Storm out wide. And blue Silk's white cap. And just up towards the rear. Against the fence is Inflation Stamp as they get to the six. Inflation Stamp goes through the top of it again. Plain Lucky yet was a little bit slow over it. But he's stuck up nicely against the fence, inflation stamp. That's my only hope. We'll just go uphill here at Lark Hill. It's come to be faithful, it leads us. It's to the seventh. And all over that race, like the back was inflation stamp. Rose looking to add a fourth. Hunter Chase win. And join the two leaders of uh, Mr. Rogers and. Mr. Shea, as they all go over the eighth, with four wins apiece. Paul's just got three. And, uh, got Martin Leadham with one. Craig Beckwith with one. would like to follow up since winning the last race. And Martin Leadham's also got one as well. So we're two and a half miles to travel. We're back at this race, and it's come all ye faithful. It still leads from the chasing pack, which include everybody but inflation stamp. We get to the ninth. Jump that. She's still a few slow jumps. Too exciting to write home about. So come all you faithful. Leads them into the tenth. Which is it well? As does everybody else, including inflation stamp. So come all you faithful. Still leads by about two lengths. More bar. Bring a room at page which has just dropped a length off of the chasing back. And still a few lengths further back is inflation stamp as they get to the eleventh. We'll measure it well. The room of page was a little bit slow. Inflation stamp took it well. To the twelfth. Again, good jumping by all. It's starting to separate the pack now. So we can say, come all you faithfuls. Leading us past the winning post from Bella Cheval, Raging Storm, and Plain Lucky. And the loose Cahol. Just about a length and a half back to the room of page. Inflation jump, stamp, and Jameer Cottage, who's uh, dropped just into the Tal and Charlie position at the moment. Oh, we've lost one, and it is inflation stamp that's gone. Not much of a fence to jump over. <sighs> Depressing. So, inside the two, it's come all you faithful. From Bello Cheval, Halus Cahol, Plain Lucky, and Raging Storm. They're a length or so away from the room of Page and Jameer Cottage. I'll swing right handed after this one. And we'll take it well, including the inflation stamp. I might as well con the riderless horse. Still, come on, you faithful. Joyful and triumphant. Let's hope he is triumphant. He will be joyful. Two and a half, three lengths away from a loose Cahol. Raging Storm, Bella Cheval, Jimmy Cottage. Uh, sorry, Plain Lucky is the other one. Jimmy Cottage is about a length back from there. 
don't remember pages ago, a bit of water. Gotcha just steadied himself going over that one. So I'm still a further nine fences to take. I'm not playing lucky, didn't get over that well. Come on, you faithful, the top weight. Takes a little bit of a hold. He approaches this one, takes it well. Raging Storm has moved up into second. They've been running wide throughout. This is Big Ditch. All over it, including Ringer Room at Page. Oh, yeah, that's uh, my loose horse at the back there. The jockey was on it. Oh, and he's gone. The leader just didn't size up well to that. And uh, unlucky for Paul, a long time leader, Commonly Faithful, has gone. Both Alex Jerry's horses. Uh, had a lot of trouble getting over it as well, Aluska Hole and Ring Aruma Page. And that's left Raging Storm for Craig Beckwith in the lead from Jamia Cottage. Bella Cheval. A length and a half away from playing looking Aluska Hole. Ring Aruma Page just to the rear. Come to the 20th. The leaders are over it well. Much better jump by the Alex Cherry horses. So with a mile left to travel, seven fences to take. Jamia Cottage and Raging Storm. Two lengths away from Bella Cheval. Playing rookie on the inside, sorry, a loose hole between horses. Ring a rumor page. The pace has been pretty steady throughout. The leaders are over that one. A bit of a slow jump by Bella Cheval. We're getting much closer order now. Only five lengths between first and last. Six that are remaining. It's Jimmy Akot, is just noses in front. Raging Storm. A reminder of Raging Storm now being scrubbed along into the 22nd. Oh, and he just didn't take his time with it and he's gone. Raging Storm. Lucky okay, there for Craig. Won't be following up with a second win here. And we get to the 23rd. And all over it, and the best jump was plain lucky. Martin Leader jumps himself a share of the lead, although. The one that's now head for home, four furlongs from it, half a mile, is Jimmy Cottage. And he's taking a two, three length advantage here, so it's Jimmy Cottage that leads. The one that's trying to chase out of the pack is Ring Aruma Page. I'm not sure the others all got a bit caught for foot here. I'm going to chase this leader down who's sprinted off. He gets to the 24th, takes it really well as does the rest, but it's Jimmy Cottage. Got a five, six length advantage now. Inside the final three from running on Ring Aruma Page, a loose to hold plane looking, Bella Cheval. They get to the 25th, leaders over it, as is the remainder, and they're shortening his gap a little bit, but not much. And we're inside the final quarter mile, it's Jamia Cottage, out on his own. From Bella Cheval in second, loose to hold, ring a rumour, page and plain lucky, all running on the inside, but it's Jamia Cottage. Coming down to the final furlong, jockey looks round, gets to the penultimate, takes it well, but here comes the chasing pack, Bella Cheval. It, within two lengths now, it's Jamia Cottage and Bella Cheval, they go over the last. Take it well, but Jimmy Cottage has still got it We're inside the half. Here comes Bella Cheval on the outside, playing looking, trying to run on. But it's Jimmy Cottage, Jimmy Cottage from Bella Cheval, Jimmy Cottage, Bella Cheval. Ooh. Thomas Rogers and James Shea fight it out. Bella Cheval and Jimmy Cottage. Not one I would call. Probably give it to Bella Cheval. She just looks like she might well have got up there. Takes your money, takes your pick, and no, Bella Cheval hangs on. Bella Cheval gets up, sorry. From Jimmy Cottage, it still could be a photo. It's not. According to that, it's a two length win. Amazing. Two hairs. Anyway, Bella Cheval, James Jay takes it. Well done, Jim, Jimmy Cottage. Thomas Rogers, second, third was when we were on the page for Alex Shane. Fourth was playing lucky for Martin Leader.